Hey everybody, it's Paul Grossman, the Dark Arts Wizard, and today I've got a problem that's up on Yahoo, and we're going to go take a look and see if we can replicate this and resolve it. Uh, the problem is, is that it looks like two different page objects are being created when we record and play back against it. So I'm going to go over here to Yahoo and see what it is that occurs in the object repository when you go in there. And we'll put in a password. All right, it looks like when I do the record and playback, I get exactly what I expect, the browser, page, and then the fields that I want to edit. Now I'm going to show you what one person has gotten set up. So we're going to go take a look at uh, what's going on here. We do have this browser here. I'm going to go under Object Properties, and View and Repository. And what you see is that we have a browser with three pages underneath. Now, in the example we're seeing in one of our groups, we actually have this page as another page underneath. And I think what's happened is that this person has actually dragged this uh, underneath here and has come up with Yahoo login and then has username and, and, and all that underneath there. And if you do a highlight and I can't find it, which is understandable. So in order to fix this, we're going to take this and drag it over to the browser. So it's yes. Okay. And now we've got Yahoo under here. That one there. And there's our, our login for that. But our sign in up there, we need to, we're going to go and add that inside object or just some creator. Or we can just add an object to local. So we're going to go and click on this username. Hit OK. All right, now username appeared under here. Can we highlight it? Yeah, there we go. All right, but what we want to do is we want this username to be sitting here with the password. So I'm going to go drag it under Yahoo 2. Uh, I can actually, uh, I'm going to go drag these guys over to, to the login. I'll drag them over there. Let's see, can we still find it? Yep, totally finds it. So now I'm going to take the sign in and we'll drag that in there. And this Yahoo 2, I don't even need anymore. I'm going to go delete it. There's nothing there. All right. This version here, I don't need either. We'll delete that. And up here, there's nothing that says Yahoo 3, so that's okay. We have our web edit. And since this is now uh, edit under here. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. Let's see if we can find these. The way you check to see if something can be found in the repository is you right-click it. It says object uh, properties. It means it's found in the repository. Let's try this one. It was also found in the repository. Now you'll notice here that next button doesn't have the object properties in there, which means it can't be found in the repository. So let's go fix that. I'm going to go jump to the repository here. Right, we're going to one that's close by. Let's go find that next button. Where did it go? Uh, I deleted it uh, quite by accident. So I'm going to go add the next button to that repository. So we're going to go and close that. Is it in there now? Why, oh, yes, it is. Cool. Let's give it a run and see what happens. Should navigate back over to you. Yahoo, there we go. Then click on the sign in button. And then enter in my username and my password. And click the sign in button which we already know I didn't put in the right password, so it fails on that. We could verify that invalid password is what's there. So we'll go under record. And we're under record. And we are going to add a verif checkpoint, standard checkpoint. I want to 
check this. Then valid password is there. Hit OK. That's fine for default. And we'll hit stop. So now we just enter it in a checkpoint. All right, let's give it one more run. And we'll check our results. All right, so we went back to the front page. We're going to go click on sign in. And then we're going to enter in my username, QTPM Grossman at Gmail, and click next. And then put in that bad password and click sign in. And verify that the invalid password, please try again, is there. Let's take a look at our view our results. Last run of results right there. Okay. And it says check it was good. We have a check green check mark, which means that's what we expect. And when we look underneath this whole thing, this has got invalid password, please, blah, blah, blah. So it passes. All right. So this is important that it should be a browser, a page, and a link. So let's check one more thing. We have this next button here, right? View repository. Can we highlight it? Yeah, it's right there. All right, now what if we take the next button and we drag it underneath the browser? We hit no on this so we don't copy the shared parent. as an object directly underneath the browser. Can we still see it? Yeah, certainly we can see it. Our next button over here says, oh, I'm not an object anymore. But we're going to go and take out that page. Is this an object now? Darn straight it is. Does the script still work? Let's see. We're going to go back, click on that sign in. Enter in our username and we click next. And there you go. And there's our failure. And then there's our invalid password. Cool. So we don't actually need that page in there. In fact, we don't need the page for any of this. Go to the link. Say, hey, the sign in. I want that just right underneath my browser. I want that right underneath my browser. And the password. I want that underneath my browser. The username. I want that right underneath my browser. So it's all under here. And even the invalid password. We're going to put that underneath. Like so. So, do we need any of these pages? Not really. We're going to take these and delete them. They're gone. All we now have are the objects and no pages. Alright. So let's see if we can run this. Okay. Now all these guys, we're going to take out page. Okay. Look at that. Sure, these guys are all yep that's an object that's an object looks good let's give it one more one test without a page does it work goes back should click on sign in it does should enter in my username my email and my password my bad password should attempt to click on sign in which it does and verify that an invalid password exists that is text and it does. Oh, I don't believe that for a minute. Let's go take a look at our last run results. All pass, man. Looks good. All right. My name is Paul Grossman. I'm the Dark Arts Wizard up on Twitter. And you've just seen a demonstration on how to do automation. And we did it all without pages. Have yourself a great day.